Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can analyze your data for the experiment of uh, the square, uh, inverse square law for light uh, using Excel. Okay, this is the target of the um, uh, graph that you that we want to get at the end of the experiment. All right, so you measured uh, distance. Uh, uh, you uh, you have a distance uh, data and also the illuminance from your smartphone. All right, so here we have a uh, illuminance versus distance, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten data, and it will be plots on a graph, and then you will have to make a fitting to get the mathematical expression for your uh, the, the report. Okay, so let's uh, start from scratch. Um, all right. So this is your distance and this is your measurement. Okay, so uh, when you, uh, in Excel, it, uh, it can uh, predict the future value. Um, for example, here, uh, if you measured in centimeter, so 5, 10, 15, uh, we do not need to uh, write the um, subsequent value we can just click here select select these three uh, cells and then you see there is a one small square here you touch uh, you you click it and drag so you see the next cell will expected will be expected to be 20 25 and so on okay so you do need so if you have a lot of data it will be uh, very useful Okay, and then uh, for meter, we do not need to go calculate. For example, we can use a formula. So go here and then make a uh, enter um, uh, equals equal to and then select the this cell divide by hundred. Okay, so you see, uh, it will automatically uh, calculate the value for this cell in term uh, of meter. So you see. A2 means A2, cell A2 divided by 100. Okay, how about for the next cell, you just need to drag this small square and then drag it downward. Okay, so you see it will uh, actually calculate for a uh, different uh, cell. Okay, alright, now you have a distance in a unit of meter in center. And then you have three data. So again, you do not need to calculate uh, using a uh, calculator to save it right, uh, to save your uh, our time. Excel help us by, for example, here you have a negative uh, equals to. All right. So you have, there are two ways, actually many ways. Uh, one of them is you can um, uh, click here plus click here plus click here. So this means you have to uh, sum up everything and divide by 3. Okay, so if you check, this value is not correct. Alright, so it, it, it is because uh, in this uh, expression, uh, 7300 divided by 3 plus, uh, this means uh, 7290 plus 7400 plus 7300 divided by 3. So this is not correct. How to make it correct? We have to put the bracket okay now it's nice like this okay all right and then uh, select this small square all right so now you have a uh, uh, your data in um, correct value okay so you can also make sure that they have the same decimal point by checking here so you can increase uh, the decimal point or decrease okay so make sure it is consistent decimal point okay so since here you have a uh, 157 so it, this is in the nice form f like this okay so now we want to um, draw a graph for it so what we have to do is that we can select this and then uh, I think select a uh, click command or control depends on your um, computer for example my computer I use command 
for Windows, you use uh, Control. So while while pushing this uh, button, you select two columns and then release. It will be selected and then go insert. Um, uh, where is a uh, rough mm, uh, chart? Okay, it says chart or graph. So we need a chart of the. Um, uh, you can also use here. I like to use here. Um, where is it? So this is a chart area. So we need this chart scatter, and I choose this one. Scatter. All right. Okay. Now I have this graph. Okay. So you have it is tabulated like this. Uh, elements in uh, X. Okay. So now let us uh, make a fitting. So how to make a fitting? You click the right on the. Uh, you uh, select the data. Click right. Right click. Add trend line. All right. So here we have a trend line options over here. So do you want to fit it linear so it doesn't fit it very well? You will you need a exponential. So it uh, fits only in this area, but it doesn't fit here. And uh, let's look logarithmic. So also doesn't look uh, like uh, uh, very good. Polynomial also doesn't good. So we go to power. Okay, so you see the power uh, makes the fitting very good. Okay, and then let's look another option. So here we want to display the equation on chart. Okay, so this is the equation on chart. Okay, so all right. So this uh, we now get the uh, expression over here. Okay, all right. So. Uh, this is the uh, okay. This is the graph that you, you uh, obtain. Uh, for another thing, uh, you can you have to explore yourself uh, how you can uh, make a uh, put a label here, and then uh, use the proper font and so on. This is a um, self exploration because a different computer, different version of Excel will give you different um, tab or button that. Uh, we have to use all right so suppose that we have a finally we have a very nice uh, graph here uh, okay so we have a mathematical relation here so let's look so what does it mean okay uh, so this is the mathematical related uh, equation for the our experiment so you will may have different uh, mathematical relation okay so uh, you see this, this is negative so you, we can transform into another form like this and if this is equation to make a to get a relation between two uh, variables, uh, illuminance and the resistance, we make a, this form, which is the illuminance is in proportional to one over r square. So why is square? Because I round out uh, one point six six three, so we get a square. So you see from this relation, it uh, fits with the inverse square law, where the intensity of light is proportional is a, uh, is a proportional to the distance square of um, inverse uh, distance square from the source okay uh, so it means that our um, our rough uh, experiment uh, follow the inverse square law, uh, square, square law. Uh, so uh, you may face uh, some problems during your experiments uh, so let's look uh, what would be the, the problem that you may have uh, okay so for um, uh, so this experiment is better uh, done using Android phone because the Android phone will give you the uh, measurements in lux uh, instead of an uh, iPhone because iPhone will give you in an uh, EV exposure value so there will be uh, some conversion that you need to do so better you use the Android phone phone sorry. and then uh, you have to make sure that uh, your experiment cover a uh, long distance so this is your uh, your uh, source and then this is your uh, phone so you have to measure over long distance because if you uh, only uh, measure in this area you will only get this value this range of distance 
if you get a uh, long this uh, range of distance you may, you will you get we will get a very good um experimental data okay and uh, next is the darkness uh, because uh, your comp your phone is very sensitive to external light so make sure that you are doing in the very dark uh, or uh, area environment where you don't have a disturbance from another uh, source of light and lastly so make sure that your smartphone orientation is very good uh, make sure uh, that you can um, imagine there is a line between the uh, source and your smartphone so you make, make sure that you um, change the position uh, along that virtual line because you know, once you tilt like something or something like this it will give you different value of light intensity right or illuminance okay so i hope that you can um, perform the assess experiment correctly uh, even though we are using just a smartphone but we can verify the uh, inverse square law for light okay thank you for your attention